We have a new command called a loop. You use a loop when you want to perform a sequence of commands more than one time in a row. To use a loop, you simply drag commands inside it. Any commands that are inside are repeated the number of times shown in this parameter box. So for example, if I want the character to move four steps, I can change the parameter to four by clicking on it. Let's try this out. All the levels in this section are solvable with a single loop, but sometimes it's not always easy to figure out which commands to put in the loop. One way I suggest is to simply write your commands out normally and then try and spot any patterns. So to complete this level, let's we first need to walk forward, walk forward, pick up to get to the coin. And then from the coin to the portal, we need to walk forward one, two times. Let's try this out. Okay, so from here to get to the next coin, we need to walk forward twice and pick up. So walk forward, walk forward, pick up. And then from there to the portal, we need to walk forward one, two times. Okay, and let's run that. Okay, it's looking good. Now you can see that we're going to run out of commands before completing the level. There's only space for two more commands, but that's fine. We're simply trying to spot a pattern. So let's take a look at the commands that we've used so far. So we've got walk forward, walk forward, pick up, walk forward, walk forward, walk forward, walk forward, pick up, walk forward, walk forward. So if you look carefully, you'll notice that if I draw an imaginary line down here, you can see that um, there's actually these second five commands are the same as the first five commands. So if I delete those second five commands and then add a loop, I can drag the first five commands into that loop um, and then I can simply say, let's just do this twice and the cat will do exactly what it did before and end up at the same place. In fact, let's just check whether we can use this same loop to get to the finish line. So from where we are now, let's see if running this uh, loop will work. So if we walk forward, walk forward, pick up, walk forward, walk forward, pick up, yes, and then walk forward, walk forward, walk forward, walk forward. So it actually looks like the cat will actually get to the finish line. So if I add that, to, if I change that to a three, um, and then I press reset, so you can see there's three uh, rows that the cat will walk down. Let's try that out. And yes, that worked. So once you've been using loops for a while, it will get easier to spot them. But for now, I suggest you use this technique that I've just shown you.